All right, guys, sorry if I sound like garbage today. I'm a little bit sick, but we're ignoring it because we got some really cool cars. And today, of course, we're doing the whole Ben's Got Project cars, and he's not working on them. So, yeah, we got Slicky there. Should be working on her. But we got Alteza, and we are working on her. But customer car, get paid. Uh, just steals all my money and that stuff. So, yeah, we're getting paid today. We are. We're gonna hopefully get paid. I guess maybe we'll do a quick rock round of this vehicle or half walk round. It's been on the channel before. It's uh, some year Toyota Alteza. It's been painted this color, which is also original color, but it's been painted because she got a little bit of dings here and there. I mean, yeah, the, the rear trunk doesn't even fit that well, but it's got a cool exhaust, which I did do. Um, yeah, you know what? This was the crappiest walk around ever, but uh, I'll show you guys more about her later. It is a cool little car. Perfect little drift machine, which is what the guy wants. So, and she actually looks really good. Alrighty, well, now let's get into the good stuff. I got a car going here of all parts that have come in already. And this isn't everything. We're getting more stuff coming in. Maybe the rest might just be custom which is my problem. Let's go through this real quick for you guys so you know what we're doing. Thing number one, we got a little ducktail spoiler. Yeah, well, whatever. Cheapest thing on here, but uh, it's there. It'll look cool. All right, we got some big old camshafts. I'll go with the, show you guys the specs of these when I pull them out and put them on, but these are gonna be chunky these are the biggest cams we could get for this thing and it is going to be awesome of course with cams coming down here you need your uh, valve springs so we got the valve springs with it and we're going full standalone ecu so we got a link g4x ecu here and uh some sensors go along with it and of course we're ripping stuff apart so we got a bunch of uh yeah you know gaskets and show you guys that what that's for in a bit here yeah just random gaskets but down here let me pull this box out this thing this is really what's going on this here is like oh my goodness worth more than the car maybe right here we got ourselves the coolest part of the build some itbs yeah, if, uh, if you don't know what ITBs stand for, ITB stands for individual throttle body because these things, for every single cylinder, has its own throttle body. So, yeah, this thing is gonna sit, see if I can do this. It should sit under the hood, just like that. And then on the other side, we're gonna have a crazy fancy custom exhaust manifold. She gonna be freaking sweet. So cool. If anyone doesn't know, just a quick little tech session. Most cars have one throttle body. You see those little valves in there? The gold part, bronze, brass, they're brass. Anyways, those are the valves that let air into your engine. So normally engines have like four cylinders and they come into one pipe and then they have just one of those. ITB's individual throttle bodies has a throttle body for every single cylinder. So, in theory, that can mean more air coming in and more power. But in reality, there's a lot more science to it. But the theory's there and it looks so, so cool. So this is gonna be a freaking sweet build. We gotta get this thing up in the air because I gotta pull the exhaust off of it because we are doing, like I said, full custom header system. But then after she's done up in the air, getting the exhaust off, we're gonna put her down and then we're gonna do some vehicle shuffling. We're gonna put her here. Because we're gonna put this little slick top on the lift. Everyone's been bugging me. And you guys all right. I've been bugging myself to get that stupid thing done. My, my lovely pride and joy. So going on the lift means work is getting done. Getting, getting done. It has to get done if it's on the lift. So yeah, we're gonna do that today as well. We're not working on it today, I'm sorry. But it, being on the lift means I have to work on it in the next day, two days, whatever. She's getting some work done, so that's gonna be sweet. Can't wait to show you guys what's going on with that. That's so cool as well. But anyways, 
Let's get this thing in the air and make some magic. So apparently I did not film me taking the exhaust off, but it was nothing special. A couple bolts, drop her down, header still on obviously, just the whole midsection of the exhaust is off. So enjoy the next 20 seconds of me just shuffling vehicles around, the very monotonous tasks task that takes way too long every time I have to do it and is a waste of my day, but hey, oh and by the way, Mikey showed up, the owner of the car. I don't know if I say that in the next clips, so yep. There we go, slick top saw on the lift and uh, got the car in place so we can work on it on the ground. Mr. Michael, go for it. Start taking it off. Me? Okay. Or you can film and I can do it. This is Michael's car, by the way. He wanted to help, so we're letting him do some suffering. Yeah, now you can watch him struggle. The good thing is, if you break something, uh -huh. we'll just delete on it. Perfect. Like the stud. Yeah. yeah. Easy peasy. Neat. Neat. All right, we got to try this. Just, just. Yeah. It I'd, is like this. I would okay. assume like that for the throttle. Yeah. Yeah, let them sit flat. Yeah. Frick yeah, that's pretty sweet. Oh. Yeah. oh. So easy. All right, here we are, end of day one. Let me show you where we're at. We got cams out and everything else. We're down to this part, I'll show you. So we got all the buckets out of this side, but the buckets are still on this side. And uh, yeah, take a look at them. You can kind of see, they don't look super great. Some of them not bad. Look at all the pitting kind of. Maybe it's hard to see. I think it actually showed really well on camera this time. But yeah, so we're down here. We test fit the cam. We knew the cam was gonna hit the head a little bit and it definitely does, mostly on the inside right here. And we gotta grind all that down. We're gonna do all this with the engine in. And now we're thinking, that's not a good idea. So tomorrow, hopefully tomorrow, that's the plan. We'll get head out of the car, out of the engine, out of the engine. We're gonna pull the head off the engine, get out of the car, we'll put it on the bench, and then we can take everything out, take all the valves out, everything, and then we can do our grinding and make it nice and clean, flush it all out so we've got no contaminants, and then put it back in. So that's the game plan. A lot of progress for day one. And she's looking freaking awesome. Anything to add? No. I think that covers it. Yeah. Have a good night. Well, it's been a few days. Maybe even a week. Hopefully not a week. I think it has been a week. Anyways, it's been a little while since we've been working on this thing. Um. So after day one, I started filming day two and it just went right south. Basically, pulled off exhaust manifold, got power steering pump out of the way, just got everything out of the way to get the head off. And lo and behold, I find out, I don't know if we're gonna be able to see this, that head bolt is a double hex, it's called. So it's like an Allen key, but Instead of six point, it's a 12 point. Which I'm sure all you guys are like, oh, that's a triple square. I thought that too. It's not. Thanks to Toyota, triple squares are 90 degree corners, hence triple square, 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 square. This is double hex, so they are like 120 degree corners. Anyways, long story short, nobody in town has this socket that's only used for some Toyota head studs, not all of them, just a couple of Toyotas thrown here and there. They gave these stupid, stupid head stud things. Anyways, thought, oof, I'll get an ARP bolt. That's a 12 point, because that's the right angle, right? Just a 12 point. And then I'll just weld it to a socket, done. Well, nobody in town also has a 10 millimeter ARP head bolt. They only have all the Imperial, mumbo jumbo anyways so 
here we are today. I'll show you what I got. Also, it's down in there. I do have like 10 millimeter um, Allen key sockets to get in there, but they're all like the socket gets thick, so they're not deep enough. They're just like, I don't have the right tool. But what I do have is this. And I'm actually glad I'm using this over a socket because this dinky little 10 millimeter, so that's the right size, except for it's only six point instead of 12 point, fits in there perfectly. And since it's dinky and little, I'm going to stick it on this little ratchet here. And with only like, what is that? Six inches, eight inches, I don't know, of torque, I'm going to be very gentle and try not to strip these. Yeah. So I do have the right tool on order, but it's supposed to be here in like two, three weeks. It's a date. It's mid-January. It's supposed to come here beginning of February. I even paid for express shipping. Still not supposed to be here till beginning of February. I don't want to wait that long. So I'm going to attempt to break these bolts loose with this. If it works, great. And then we'll put the new ones in with the correct tool so we have no issues torquing them down. But uh, wish me luck. If I strip one of these things, we are having a real bad day. Real bad day. All right. All right. Feels good. Doesn't feel strippy. Okay, yeah. Hold on. tight. Tight but moving. Okay. Oh. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine more to go. Ten head studs here. Head bolts. Well, the first one came, so the rest should be hopefully similar. Hopefully. Oh, my hands are gonna be so tired by the end of this. So sore. <clears throat> Ooh, this one feels worse. Do I dare going for more leverage? All right, this is probably a really bad idea. But once again, I'm gonna try to whoop, get this in there. And now I'm gonna put, not the biggest wrench I have, but quite a large wrench on here. Let's get this in a better spot. To get some leverage, get some, quite a bit of leverage. I decided to stick with this really old ratchet thinking hopefully it will break before the bolt oh, i said that too quickly what broke yeah okay well there we go uh i guess this is a good thing i was using this old one amazing how i just said that i can't believe i can't believe this just happened and i caught this on tape my hands are all dirty. Yeah. Okay, well, my thought was to use this dinky little thing to try to avoid stripping out that bolt head. So uh, I guess that was the right decision. Now the question is, do I try another one or do I just accept defeat? Oh, what was that? Well, that was my socket adapter. We might be calling this one a failure. This is not going well. All right, well, it's been like half the day. I've broken, uh, this isn't even all of it, but broken this, broken this, as I saw. And then I broke this socket that I had on there. So what did I do? I welded the piece to the socket. And now we've got three eighths drive, three eighths drive. So hopefully, hopefully no more breaking things. All right, we are officially on day 74, hour 367, minute 24 and a quarter-ish of uh, trying to get this thinking head off. So yesterday we broke a lot of tools trying to get those 
stinking head bolts out down in there. Can't see them. Okay. Well, I needed a new socket for it because the correct one's still in the mail, not gonna be here for a while. Everyone online was like, you know what? Triple square does work. So we got a triple square here. Went out, bought this, you know, $20 more than I should have, but what do you do? Everyone says, yep, it goes in. Angles are wrong, so it's a little not great. You do strip thrip, you do risk stripping them, but hey, nobody said they did. Everyone just said you might, but I didn't. I thought, okay, hopefully, you know, I might, but won't. So, pick this thing up, stick her in there. What the heck? I must have just got the wrong size, but it's a 10, like all the other ones are. Well, I don't know. Apparently, the 10 in triple square does not equal 10 in Allen keys. So, I went out and got an Allen key that's got more of a longer neck here. So that hopefully we can get her. So, okay, all that nonsense. She goes in there, she fits another, whatever, $20 later. It's now like $40 in the stinking sockets that aren't even the right one. Let's try to pop the rest of these off. Hopefully we don't need more leverage in this. Oh, nothing, butter. Oh, nice. Look at that, all right. All right, I'm gonna get these zipped out and then pull this head. All right, hopefully I did not forget to remove every, anything. I think everything's off. We'll find out quick. Uh-oh, actually, are these either core lines installed to the head or the block? Probably the head. Well, we're gonna find that out real quick. Oh, wow, loose already, not a good sign. Oh, front's loose. Back, not so much. Okay, did I forget something? Seems loose, just not wanting to come up. Maybe heater core lines? What am I missing? All right, here we go. Round two. I think I got everything. Oh, it feels better. Yeah, it feels way better. Oh, am I still missing something? Maybe I should get these bolts out of here quick. There we go. Oh yeah, there we go. Now we're good. Yep, beauty. All right, let's go. Huh. Oh. Here's what we got here. Obviously, full of coolant because uh, all the coolant lines go through the head. So when you take the head off, they all splash into the cylinders. Good to see it's not leaking down though. Probably have a good seal. That's a great sign. Cool. All right. I'll get it cleaned up a little better. The pistons don't even look too bad. Looks pretty darn good to me. Right on. All right, cylinder walls, pretty smooth, not gonna lie. Not a lot of cross hatch in there, a little bit. Right, we'll look at that in a little bit. All right, let's look at this head. See what we got going on here. Okay, nothing looks too bad. Sweet, glad to see no real damage anywhere. We've got a couple cylinders been running a little hotter than the other ones, but even all the spark plugs don't look horrible. Sweet, all right, that is a good sign. Now I gotta disassemble this whole thing and we can start prepping for the cams. So finally back onto her, can get some stuff done. Ooh, that was a fight trying to get that head off. My goodness, but anyways, we're here, we got her. Time to get going on the head, but that'll probably be for next time. Yeah, she's all torn down, so. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, whatever. You made it this far in the video. It would be awesome if you subscribed and, uh, you know, tell your friends. Have a good one.